And welcome everyone to a WCC chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Jake Toulson from BYU. Fresh off of BYU's thrilling home win over St. Mary's. TJ Haas with a three-pointer, a dagger. Uh, first, Jake, where were you on the floor when uh, TJ buried that shot? I was right there. I was right there with TJ. Uh, I handed the ball off to him, kind of set a little rub screen, and then Yo went up and set the ball screen, and I was snapping up. Uh, ready to, to be there if he didn't have a, a look off the ball screen, but he, he got a great look and he, he knocked it down. All right, what was the play? What did Mark Pope want? He wanted, uh, so we, we, we had run this play uh, the previous you know few possessions. We were getting good stuff, so it was kind of just some false action on, on the strong side, and I would dribble it over to Tej. If they overplayed out, he would go back door. Hand it off to him, um, go to the wing, yo, run up, set the ball screen. I'm snapping up, yo's rolling, and Teach has downhill shot, yo rolling, and me snapping up. So just putting the defense in a, in a tough position to guard all three of us. So I feel like every time you guys play, they're really good games. And I don't think nationally people grasp BYU St. Mary's. We know about BYU Gonzaga, Gonzaga St. Mary's. But this sort of sub rivalry, at least nationally, since BYU's been in the league, since you've been a part of it, what would you say about the, the 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 way this has been brewing between the two schools in terms of highly competitive late possession games? Yeah, I think I think both teams are are really good, um, uh, very well coached, veteran teams, and uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it was back and forth even at their place earlier this year. You know, it went to overtime. And, and we let that one get away from us. So we, so we knew that um, it was going to be a battle coming back to our place, but we, we felt like we, we owed them one. So um, it, it's fun playing in those high level games, uh, nationally televised, you know, huge games for our conference and for our team. And, and I'm really glad we were able to, to come out with a win. All right, so look, these are my words, not yours. Uh, I would say in the past, BYU has struggled sometimes with teams below them in the WCC, and that's what's inhibited BYU from maybe getting into the tournament. So far mm-hmm. this season, you guys are taking care of business. What do you guys have to do before you even get to this Gonzaga rematch later in the season to make sure there are no slip-ups, no setbacks, and you're going forward trying to compete for this title in the league still and obviously get to the tournament? Yeah, absolutely. I think our mindset all all season long has been to get better every single day, and and we're not gonna you know we're not gonna make the tournament today or tomorrow or our next game. But we have to win every single day. We have to get better, and we have to, to focus on on the game that's in front of us. Coach has always told us this whole this whole year, the biggest game, as big as this St. Mary's game was that we just won. This Portland game on Thursday is even bigger. So the game that's right in front of us is our biggest game. And we, and we approach it that way. And, and we have a lot of focus. And, and, and we're all locked in and on what we, we're trying to do. And if, if we can get better every single day, then, then we'll get everything that we want out of this year. What was it like atmosphere-wise when you get a dagger at home in Provo? It was amazing, man. The the energy in the building was crazy. And, and they they... They carried us through some tough stretches uh, of the game, and they they brought us back, and um, it, it was so fun. And then when T hit that shot, the, the place exploded, and 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 people are happy for us because you know we're the players and we're out there doing it, the coaches, whatever. But that win meant so much to everyone, the people who who come to the games, the people that support us through the the hard times and the good times, and you know. So I feel like. Uh, that, that was a great night, not just for us as a team with our resume and, and whatever, but, but for everyone who, who loves BYU and, and has uh, supported us through this season. It, it was just huge. Jake, appreciate it. Uh, obviously providing a lot of entertainment for those of us that are tracking. Uh, good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Good talking.